eternal life is a free gift from God. Jesus died for you at Calvary. He is the way, the truth, the life, the door. If you believe in him, you shall be saved. Cause God's free gift to you is eternal life through Jesus Christ the Lord. Welcome to the first broadcast of the Living Truth for the year 2018. We have been doing this radio broadcast for over 18 years now. I want to greet all the listeners of Radio Star Country and to those that are watching us on Facebook, YouTube, WhatsApp, and other social media sites. This is my first time that I've been able to say to you this year a happy and prosperous new year to all the radio presenters, to the management, and to you, the listeners of this radio station. I pray that this year will be a year of blessings a year of prosperity. This broadcast is brought to you for a ministry called Full Gospel Evangelism, a ministry that believes that the Bible is the Word of God and everything that we teach, everything that we believe comes from the Bible, the Holy Book. We believe that the Bible is the inspired Word of God it is infallible and we believe that all doctrines should come from the Bible and the Bible alone. In this ministry we believe that the God of miracles is still working miracles. And the reason that we believe that miracles are happening today is because we believe the Bible. We believe that Jesus is... He's still healing, he's still delivering, he's still saving, and he's still working miracles today. And the reason that we believe that is because we believe the Bible. We believe that all the gifts of the Spirit are in the church today. That means speaking in tongues, it means prophesying, it means the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom. We believe that all the gifts of the Spirit are in the church today and will remain in the church until Jesus returns. And the reason that we believe that is because we believe the Bible. We believe in an unchanging God. The God that worked miracles in the Bible is still working miracles today. The Jesus that healed, delivered, saved, and work miracles, he's still healing, he's still delivering, he's still saving, and he's still working miracles. Now please note, I never said that I am a healer. I do not claim to be a faith healer. I do not claim to be a miracle worker. I'm saying that Jesus is the healer. Jesus is the deliverer. Jesus is the saviour. And if you send your prayer request to us, we will pray to the one who is healing, who is delivering, who is saving, who is working miracles today. His name is Jesus. And if you want to contact us, the telephone number to call us on is 07778-690931. That's 0 778 six nine zero nine three one for the benefit of those that are listening to us on the radio i will repeat that address several times throughout the radio broadcast but those of you that are watching us 
you can see the number on your screen. Now, we never tell people that you have to send money for us to pray for you. And any minister that tells you that you can receive healing, you can receive deliverance by making a donation, they are a false prophet, they are deceitful workers. In this ministry, we will never ask you to send money for us to pray for you. Because my God does not charge for healing. He does not charge for salvation. He does not charge for deliverance. Every miracle that I read in the New Testament, whether Jesus was cleansing the lepers, giving sight to the blind, raising the dead, he never charged money. And we will never ask you for money, for your healing, for your miracle, because God doesn't need your money. Of course, if anybody wants to support the radio broadcast, they can do so. You can support the ministry if you want to, but we will never charge you for prayer. Because I believe that ministers that tell people that they've got to make a donation to receive their miracle, to receive their salvation, I believe that they are an abomination unto God. My Bible says, freely you have received, freely give. My God does not charge me to pray to him, and I will not charge you to pray for you on your behalf. So remember that telephone number, it's 07778690931. And as I present this first of my broadcast in the year 2018, I was thinking, what can I say to the listeners, to the viewers? What can I say that will encourage you and edify you and give you the strength to go on this year? When I listen to some of the preachers in some of the churches and I listen to some of them on Christian television and I read the comments on social media sites, I hear a lot of preachers standing up and saying, well, this coming year is going to be a year of blessing, that God's going to take you to new height. I've even heard some preachers say that nobody would ever die, that God's going to bless you, you're never going to have a trial, you're never going to have a problem. The problem is they were saying that last year, and they were saying that the year before. And I am not going to make such a foolish are such a ridiculous statement because I believe that this year is going to be like any other year. There will be times of joy. There will be times of happiness. There will be times of rejoicing. When I think of the year 2017, I can think of times when I was happy. I can think of news that I got of uh, members of my family having children, new babies being born, um, people coming to me to have their child dedicated. And um, I thank God for all the newborn and people that have got married in the year and people that have bought their own house. And uh, I think of all the wonderful things that have happened, the times with my wife that we laughed and joked, the house outings that we went on and the wonderful services that we had in the year 2017 where people were saved and people were healed and people were delivered and in the meetings where we experienced the awesome presence of the living God. Yes, I can think of great things that happened in 2017. But I can also think of some times when I wept, times when I cried, times when I conducted funeral services, attended funeral services. In the year 2017, I conducted the funeral service for my sister-in-law who died of cancer. We attended funeral service. We lost loved ones. We lost members of the church. In, in the year 2017, I made some new friends, but I also lost some old friends. There were people that once liked me, who no longer liked me. They loved me, but no longer loved me. 
and there are people that I've made new friends and the year 2018 is going to be exactly the same. There will be times of joy. There will be times of peace. There will be times of rejoicing. There will be the good times. And there will be the bad times. But I've got news for your friends that no matter whether you are going this year through times of trial, through times of bereavement, through times of happiness, through times of joy, I've got news for you that my God will be with you all the time. He'll be with you in the good times and he'll be with you in the bad times. My Bible never told us that we would have an easy journey through life. We will have persecution in the world. We will have trials as it has always been that way. Oh yes, when the children of Israel came out of Egypt on their journey to the promised land, they experienced the awesome presence of the living God as the Red Sea opened and they were delivered from slavery as mamma came down from heaven, as water came down from the rock, but they also experienced some rough times and some bad times. We think of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, how that they had some good times when they was exalted to high positions in Babylon. But then they also had to face the fiery furnace. Daniel, who was given the senior, one of the senior positions in the Babylonian Empire, also had to face the lion's den. And as it, we go through the year 2018, we are going to have some good times. We are going to have some bad times. And I want God to be there to enjoy the good times with me. To entire, enjoy the times of rejoicing. But I know in the bad times he will not leave me. Yea, though I walk for the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. And if you're going through good times, rejoice and give God thanks for the good things that are happening to you. But remember that the God of the mountain is the God of the valley. He's there in the good times and he's there in the bad times. And there are times in our Christian life where we have the mountain top experience, where everything is okay, where we're enjoying life, where we're seeing prayers answered. But then we go to the valley where there are trials and suffering. But God is with us. The God of the good times is the God of the bad times. The God of the mountain is the God of the valley. And I want to encourage you, friends, just to keep your eyes on the Lord. And we're going to play a song that means so much to me. It is sang by Lyndon Randall. And it's called the God of the Mountain. Life is easy When you're up on the mountain And you've got peace of mind Like you've never known Things change when you're down in the valley. Don't lose faith, for you're never alone. For the God on the mountain is still God in the valley. When things go
still caught in the night You talk a thing When you're up on the mountain But talk comes so easy When life's at its best Now it's down in the valley Trials and temptations That's where your faith Is really put to the test For the God on the mountain Is still God in the valley When things go Amen. The God of the good times is the God of the bad times. The God of the day is the God of the night. I would love to stay in this radio station here and tell you that the year 2018 will be a wonderful year in which there be no death, no sickness, no unemployment, no suffering and every one of you is going to go higher and get richer and have mansions and Cadillacs. I would love to say that but if I said that I would be a liar because first of all it's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that there are good times in our life and there are bad times in our life as well. There are times when everything is good and there are times when everything is not good. But I thank God that he is there all the time. But there is a scripture that I want you to bear in mind. When you come across the negative things throughout 2018, maybe when you face a bereavement, unemployment, people turn against you and you're going through trials and you think, where is God? Well, I want to tell you that God is right there with you. God was in with Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego before they went in the furnace but he was there in the furnace with them. Hallelujah. He is there all the time. I went into a church once and I heard some people say, I've come here to meet God. And I was the preacher in that church and I got up and I asked the questions. How many people have come here to meet God? And most of them put their hand up and I said, well, I've got news for you. I did not come to church to meet God. Because if I came to meet him, it means that I wasn't saved when I came in. I didn't come to church to meet him. When I came to church, I brought him with me. He was there when I was in bed. He was there when I was getting dressed for church. He was with me in the car to church. And he was with me in the church. And he will be with me on the way home. He will not leave us nor forsake us. I do not come to church to meet God. But I come to church to gather with God's people to worship and to praise, and to lift up Almighty God, because He is there all the time. He doesn't leave us, 
and he doesn't forsake us. Remember that telephone number to call us on if you need prayer. It's 0777869931. That telephone number is again is 0 treble 78 690931. But I want you to remember this when you're going through trials. All things work together for good. And sometimes we have to go through the bad things because God is leading us to the good things ahead. I'm reminded of the psalm, psalmist when he wrote the famous words in Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leadeth me beside still waters. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Well, I was thinking of that when a shepherd leads his sheep. Oftentimes, he will lead them through rough places, through dangerous places, where there are snakes, where there are bears, where they can be attacked by insects that bite. But why is he? Why does the shepherd lead them that way? Because he's leading them for the bad places in order to get to the good places, in order to get to the green pastures, in order to get to the steel waters. When you're going through the trials throughout the year 2018, when problems come your way, remember that they are only passing through those trials. God has got some better things for you ahead. And he's leading you. He's leading you. Hallelujah. To those green pastures. Because God is in control. And remember, God is right there with you in the bad times. Like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, he's there in the fiery furnace. Like Daniel, he's there in the lion's den. Like Paul and Silas, he's there in the prison with them. And whatever you're going through throughout 2018, I want you to know that God is there with you. And you can't face the problems alone, but you don't have to. God is there. He gives you the grace and he gives you the strength. And you might be going through a situation now and you say, Pastor McGillett, I don't know how I can do it. I'll tell you how you can do it. You can do it in him. You can do it with God because you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. And I'm going to play a song that he sang by a good friend of mine, Pastor Jim Patterson. And it really sums up what I'm saying. He giveth more grace and he certainly gives us more grace in the trials that we are going through. He giveth more grace as the burdens grow greater. He sendeth more strength as our labors increase. To added afflictions he addeth his mercy. To multiply trials, he multiplies peace. His love has no limits, his grace has no measure, his power no boundary known unto man. For out of his infinite Riches in Jesus, He giveth and He giveth and He giveth again. When we have exhausted our store of endurance, when our strength has failed. Ere the day is half done, when we reach the end of our hoarded resources, our Father's full giving, why it's only begun. His love has no limits, His grace has no measure, his power no boundary known unto men. For out of his 
Infinite riches in Jesus. He giveth, and he giveth, and he giveth again. Fear not that thy need shall exceed his provision. Our God ever yearns his resources to share. Lean hard on the arms everlasting, availing the Father both thee and thy burden will bear. His love has no limits. His grace has no measure, His power no boundaries known unto men. For out of His infinite riches in Jesus, He giveth, and He giveth, and He giveth Praise the Lord. He giveth more grace. Well, we've come to the end of this broadcast. And I hope that the words that God has spoken through me today will help you in the year that lies ahead. Remember that telephone number to call us on for your prayer request is 0777869001. That's zero treble seven eight six nine zero nine three one. We've come to the end of this broadcast now, and on behalf of the the folks of Full Gospel Evangelism, this is Pastor David McKibbitt wishing you a very happy and prosperous new year. God be with you. I love you. But my God, he loves you more. Eternal life is a free gift from God. Jesus died for you at Calvary. He is the way, the truth, the life, the door. If you believe in him, you shall be saved. Cause God's free gift to you is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, the Lord.